In this video, we'll go over 30 tools and sites I've used which designers of all kinds can benefit from. I'll link them all under the video. First of all, for web and list designers, you definitely want Notepad++. It's real useful for storing codes, even BB codes, taking notes, and it saves your open notepads even after you close the program. Best of all, when you save a file in particular, like CSS, it marks the codes with colors making them easy to navigate. Also, it has really good options for replacing codes and finding codes way better than the original notepad, which a lot of people still use. Since this is free, you definitely want to start using this. For Photoshop users, you might have a lot of PSD files that look like this. While with Sage Thumbs, you can preview all the PSDs, making them easier to organize. I do find this app lags out other thumbnails, so I only use it when I want to reorganize or rename all of my downloaded PSDs fast. There's other apps to preview thumbnails as well, but this, is, this one is pretty fast and simple to use. Now speaking of Photoshop, of course that's the best app for graphic design, but when it comes to editing animated GIFs, I think Jassic Animation Shop is still the fastest and most convenient to use. It has a lot of options for editing GIFs quickly and the way you want. Plus it has simple graphic design options, so I find this app useful for editing screenshots and any copied image quickly. Since it loads faster than Photoshop, it's useful for simple instant graphic design. By the way, the screen dimming you see is me taking screenshots with the Windows key and print key print screen key shortcut. It creates a screenshot in your pictures folder and also creates a screenshot which you can quickly copy to Jassic Animation Shop, for example, so you can edit it. Speaking of animated GIFs, your best bet to make animated GIFs recorded off the screen with any video is an app like Camtasia or Gaiazo or Freecam. However, I already have a whole video on making animated GIFs with those apps, so please check it out. It's linked under this video. So I'll link you to some useful sites under the video as well. And when it comes to useful websites, you probably know Google Images is a great way to search for backgrounds and renders for your designs. But Google Images is also useful for finding the source of any image. It sometimes leads you to the character's name and should at least lead you to the sites that have the image and that can lead you to the source. You'll often, eat, you'll often be able to find similar pics or alternative pics of the character as well this way. Sauce Now is also a good site for finding character names and sources. HTML Color Picker is very necessary for finding colors for codes, including CSS and BB code. And speaking of colored text, Stuff by David's Text Colorizer is extremely useful for finding and making colored text for BB code. W3Schools is the best site for learning CSS, and what's really useful about it is it has examples and explanations for CSS codes, codes including high-level coding, which you can copy over to your site and modify. There's many CSS generators for previewing CSS code changes, and then you can copy the code right there and add it to your selectors on your web page. Photopea is an online alternative to Photoshop and useful when you want to do Photoshop on another device like a phone or if you simply don't have Photoshop but want to use the tools in it. My videos on Photoshop, which are linked under this video, can help you make graphics and they work well with Photopea. Cooltext is a useful site which I promote a lot. It makes custom text and is definitely good for GIMP users to give them more text options. And also, if you can't get your text how you want in Photoshop or need a quick alternative, you can just use cool text. Just try not to use the default fonts and colors so that your text looks unique. Waifu2x is another site that I promote a lot. It's really useful for any kind of designer since it will clean up images and also size up images, even renders without losing quality.
Imgur is the best image uploader, which I've used in a lot of videos, but you should be also aware that it has an image editor you can use to crop and resize your uploaded images with. You can even add text to them. DeviantArt is really important for graphic designers since you can look at other people's work and get inspiration, but also they have useful tools you can download like paintbrush files and PSDs which you can use in Photoshop. I go over this more in my 11 tips for Photoshop video. Pinterest is a great source for inspiration, finding new artists, and finding fan art. Konachan is an anime website for getting wallpapers from which you can use and crop down for your own graphics. Damburo is my favorite image board because they upload a lot of quality work and it's easy to navigate. I like to use this with the AutoPager Chrome extension so I can load a lot of pages every day. Pixiv is probably the best place to get high quality anime and game art. MG Renders is a site that provides extremely high quality etchy and hentai renders. Yandere is another site for getting quality wallpapers. Zerochan is a great place for getting images for your avatars and profile graphics, and they work well with Photoshop editing. Family Renders is a great render site that takes requests and has a big collection of useful renders. Uh, Baka Renders is a very serious render site with a wide variety of renders. My main source for renders is Google Image, but these sites will help you when you're searching for that perfect render for your web page or graphic design. Mini Tokyo has been around for a while, and it's also a good source for wallpapers, inspiration, and large anime and manga scans, perfect to edit in Photoshop. Finally, here's some useful extensions for Chrome. They also exist in Firefox, and in fact, I believe some of them originated in Firefox. DoubleClick Image Downloader is super useful if you download a lot of pics online. It lets you download images instantly via the button on the image, or you can single-click or double-click the image to download it. Hover Zoom Plus will be useful when browsing images on Google Images. An Image Toolbar will give you some extra options when browsing images, like a quick way to open them in a new tab. And Fireshot is a useful screenshot tool. It can screenshot the entire web page, and this is invaluable for school and also for getting a look at your entire web page. And lastly, I recommend getting a gaming or MMO mouse since it comes with so many keys. You can assign shortcuts for all your apps and for your browser on the keys, and this will speed up your designing dramatically. Plus, the mouse is super useful for gaming and browsing in general when you add a lot of shortcuts or macros to the keys on the mouse. So good luck and leave any useful websites and tools in the comments.